Obsession is the way for the damaged one. Obsession is the way for the chosen one. Your path just shown, but a journey unknown. This is your sign to start walking alone. Your desire is strong, but don't get me wrong. The rare one doesn't make a choice, but to listen to that inner voice. This is the sign you've been looking for. You don't have to wait longer anymore. You don't watch this by accident. It may seem like it, but your desire for greatness brought you here. And don't believe me, just ask yourself. Would your grandma watch this? Or would your uncle hear these words? If they did, they would stop watching here. And if you are anything like them, I would recommend doing the same. I say that without disrespect to your loved ones. I say that because the only person who's ready to hear this is the one who realized that there are no loved ones. Love is a need to not feel alone. But if we speak honestly, it's only one of the many needs for love. And the one that understands knows that the only path is the path alone. It reminds me of a uh, poem from Charles Bukowski. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. This could mean losing wives, relatives, girlfriends, and maybe even your mind. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on the park bench. It could mean mockery. It could mean jail. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance, of how much you really want to do it. Mental isolation is the only way. You've been conditioned all your life to believe what is realistic and what is not. To break the three minute mile, you don't need more limitations from humans around you. You don't need more conditioning. You need to go back to your true self. The child who thought he could fly. The child who thought anything was possible. The child who did not listen to anyone else but himself. That inner voice is still there. What is it telling you? What does it whisper? You may pause the video here to truly hear it. Your innate voice will be heard when the external noise subsides. And curiosity is innate, but smothered via socialization and distractions. Spend enough time alone and it will return. I want to put a big disclaimer out there. Don't listen to me. I am a conditioned individual just like you. And even though I've done over $4 million in revenue, hired over 40 people, you shouldn't follow what I say or take notes when I speak or start doing things that work for me. It's all about self-experimentation. That's what brought me here. And even though I desire to speak the truth, I will also limit you in your way to become a legend or whatever you want to become for that sake. And the one who realizes what I just said may stop watching here or may continue watching but with his guards high up and his heart closed to any limitations put on him or her by other humans, including me. Because to become free and to become the legend you can become, you already have enough of those conditioned beliefs from all those years living your life that you have to unchain yourself from. And even that isn't true, you don't have to. The fact is most people won't, because most people are unserious. Socialization is for the unserious. Discussions are for the lost. And true freedom is only to those who are truly willing to leave everything they know behind. By now, most people have stopped watching. This is either too abstract for them or simply too much to think about. Some are not ready and might return to this 10 years from now. Most will never come back and stay lost forever. By the way, disclaimer, I don't understand life. I'm not your mentor. I don't know it all. I'm just a person who tries to understand his mind and what I'm truly capable of. And your mind will trick you to believe that being social is good, that listening to podcasts is good and will help you, and that hard work, doing things consistently and hope will eventually give you what you want. I'm not saying that these things aren't true, because you won't hear me if I say they won't. Your mind is too loud. But in all honesty, that's a topic for maybe another talk. Your mind is powerful. Learn how to control it, or it will control you. So then the question may arise, how can I control my mind? It's a fair question, and again, you don't have to listen to me. In all honesty, I haven't mastered this yet, but I can share this. One thing that works for me for a long time is going out here, in this case in the forest, walking and speaking what my mind is projecting onto me inside, out loud. So practically, I walk, get my phone, start talking to my voice memo recorder, 
because I still care too much about what other people think of me if I don't do that, right? If I just start talking without anything in my ears, without anything in my hand, I still care too much about that. So that proves to you as well that I'm also just an individual who is flawed and has still a lot to realize. But I know for certain I will reach a point where anything external won't reach me anymore. When I arrive there, I will, I will let you know. Until then, know that I also have my struggles. I'm just getting better every day in understanding where they arise from. The true source, you know, the true roots of where they come from, where that emotion or problem comes from. And for me, physically, hearing myself, my mind speak out loud, serves me, helps me make realizations. It's one of the, if not the only way that I've been able to make realizations, also through writing, especially through talking out loud. But I'm not saying you should try this. If I would, then it won't work. Well, maybe it works, but temporarily, right? And what is that worth if you only make a realization one time? If it doesn't last, is it worth it? I don't think so. So the truth is that it only works if, you, if it comes from an internal desire. For, for me, nobody told me to go outside, walk and talk out loud. I never heard anyone saying that. It came from an internal desire. I started doing it and I liked it. It works for me. I'm also not saying that you shouldn't try it. The fact is, you, it will only last and it will only keep doing it if it works for you and if the desire to do it is there and strong enough. Not because it is now a habit and you want to do it every day or every week. Because it's all about realizations. It's funny because I always believed that it was about habits, hard work, consistency, all those things. Maybe, well, very, I can confidently say that it is because I, I was conditioned and still am. And I watched all those motivational speakers and all those podcasts and all those videos where if you, of course, if you expose yourself to that long enough, you will start to believe it. But believe, does it really serve you? I think when you truly understand something for yourself internally, that you truly realize something at its core, that is a moment when you don't need effort anymore. Change just happens or not. For instance, if you truly have realized why you drink alcohol, then if it doesn't change, that means you are okay with it. Or at least that your desire to keep drinking alcohol and whatever that brings to you is greater than your desire to stop. And if you change after that realization, then it means that to you that you're not okay with it. It's only your desire that will tell you what you want more. And now you may think, and of course you can trick your mind to believe that alcohol isn't good for you. And it might even help you stop for some time. But again, that won't last forever. But be warned, when you hear these words, your mind will probably tell you that since you can't change it, that you don't have to do anything. And you can just lie on the couch, defeated. Recognize this for what it is. It's another trap of your mind. So what is there left to do? Nothing. For once in your life, you cannot do anything. Take a moment to think about that. You have been programmed so deeply to always distract yourself with something to do that you never sat down and ask yourself what you are here born to do. I am born to create. If you want to know how I found out, you may watch this video next and a serious individual may check the show notes. Talk soon.